Do you know about diabetes type 3C or pancreatogenic diabetes? If you are interested in information about diabetes, then information provided in this video will be helpful to you. This video is about pancreatogenic diabetes which is also known as diabetes type 3C. Here, you will find information on etiologies, prevalence, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment of pancreatogenic diabetes or diabetes type 3C. Before moving to further information on pancreatogenic diabetes, if you learn something or if you find information provided in this video as helpful, please motivate us by subscribing, liking and sharing this video. Pancreatogenic diabetes is classified by the American Diabetes Association and by the World Health Organization as type 3C diabetes mellitus. Pancreatogenic diabetes is a diabetes due to impairment in pancreatic endocrine function related to pancreatic exocrine damage. This pancreatic exocrine damage can be due to acute, relapsing and chronic pancreatitis, cystic fibrosis, hemochromatosis, pancreatic cancer, pancreatectomy, and some rare causes such as neonatal diabetes due to pancreatic agenesis. Prevalence of pancreatogenic diabetes It is very difficult to estimate the exact prevalence of pancreatogenic diabetes because of insufficient research in this area and challenges with accurate diabetes classification in clinical practice. But, according to some studies, almost 10% of all diabetes cases could be classified as type 3C diabetes mellitus. The chronic pancreatitis being the most common etiology of type 3C diabetes mellitus, affecting nearly 80% of cases. Clinical Presentation of Pancreatogenic Diabetes most patients with type 3C diabetes mellitus have a known history of pancreatitis with abdominal pain, steatorrhea, maldigestion, nutritional deficiencies, and glucose intolerance. However, patients may also present with symptoms of maldigestion or abdominal pain without a prior diagnosis of chronic pancreatitis, or even patient may be asymptomatic and only by careful clinical evaluation pancreatic disease can be diagnosed. In early course of disease, the patient may be asymptomatic or there may be mild hyperglycemia, and periods of glucose intolerance may only be evident during stress, illness, or high dose of steroid treatment. But, later in the disease course, there is often progression to brittle diabetes characterized by marked hyperglycemia and frequent hypoglycemia. The Diagnosis of Type 3C Diabetes Mellitus At least following three criteria should be met for diagnosis of pancreatogenic diabetes. First criteria is, the presence of pancreatic exocrine insufficiency, by monoclonal fecal elastis 1 test or direct function tests. Second criteria is evidence of pathological pancreatic imaging, by endoscopic ultrasound, MRI, or CT, and The third criteria is the absence of type 1 diabetes mellitus associated autoantibodies. Complications of pancreatogenic diabetes Patients with type 3C diabetes mellitus appear to share a similar risk for the micro and macrovascular complications of diabetes as seen in type 1 and 2 diabetes mellitus. Thus, patients should be monitored for the development of retinopathy, nephropathy, neuropathy, and follow the same cardiovascular disease risk reduction guidelines as for patients with type 1 and 2 diabetes mellitus. Management of pancreatogenic diabetes Similar to type 1 and 2 diabetes mellitus, control of hyperglycemia to achieve and maintain the HbA1c less than 7% remains the primary target for the management of type 3C diabetes mellitus. Management of type 3C diabetes mellitus includes lifestyle modifications, oral pancreatic enzyme replacement, anti-hyperglycemic agents, and total pancreatectomy with islet autotransplantation. Lifestyle Modifications Abstaining from alcohol and smoking cessation are highly recommended as both exacerbate progression of underlying pancreatic inflammation, fibrosis, and pain. Medical nutritional therapy should advise eating meals rich in soluble fiber and low in fat, 
together with oral enzyme replacement. Oral pancreatic enzyme replacement is particularly important for fat digestion and absorption, and so helps to control symptoms of steatorrhea and protect against fat-soluble vitamin deficiency. Maintaining sufficient levels of vitamin D is also essential to prevent the development of metabolic bone disease and osteoporosis. Antihyperglycemic agents Since the principal endocrine defect is insulin deficiency, insulin therapy is the preferred treatment for most patients, and especially to correct hyperglycemia for cystic fibrosis related diabetes, for acutely ill or hospitalized patients, and for severely malnourished patients. In chronic pancreatitis associated diabetes, when hyperglycemia is mild, oral hypoglycemic agents may be appropriate. Metformin can be the first choice followed by other oral hypoglycemic drugs. Total pancreatectomy with islet autotransplantation. Total pancreatectomy with islet autotransplantation is considered as definitive treatment of recurrent acute or chronic pancreatitis for the primary indication of providing pain relief. It is important to note here that the objective of the islet autotransplant is only prevention of surgical diabetes, and this procedure does not prevent or treat the type 3C diabetes mellitus. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this information will be helpful to you. If you still not subscribed my channel, please subscribe for more such videos. If you have any comments or questions, please write in comments section. Please share this video with your friends and do not forget to hit the like button.